Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. Now today I want to have a little bit of fun. Hopefully it will be fun. Some of these fun readings do uh, turn on me somewhere along the line. But I want to look, I do a compare and contrast using the Tarot of Curious Creatures. There is the box, Tarot of Curious Creatures. I am going to be looking at the Markles and the Middletons. How they compare and contrast. Uh, as families, as the public sees them, as the royals see them, and ultimately what will be the outcome for, the, for each family of their royal association, their unwitting royal association. Of course, both families plunged right in unsuspectingly, unwittingly. Well, some would say that Carol Middleton has been plotting this since the moment her eldest daughter was born I don't think so and I just have to say tarot reading entertainment purposes and my opinions and all allegedly and uh, so get that out the way but interesting to see I'm going to be doing uh, just a nine card just a nine card reading that's plenty of cards lots of questions hopefully the tarot of curious creatures will have plenty to tell us and I think we have our reading and I know we don't one more and uh, see how the two families compare of course as I say the Middletons were seen uh, all on best behavior all dressed beautifully all looking gorgeous and there they were invited into the arms of the royal family really the royal family getting a bit thin on the ground now needing all the support that they can possibly muster and so there were the Middletons now, of course the Markles on the other hand are very busy suing each other I think Samantha is trying to sue now Megan suing her father the brother is on a reality TV show Megan herself has just been embarrassing herself horribly on the Ellen show so quite a difference really quite a difference I think the Middletons could have gone down that road of spectacle but were reined in and uh, have been impeccably behaved even Uncle Gary only comes out occasionally to embarrass them so uh, very interesting how different they are and uh, yes two more cards we have this rather curious looking reading but all all intended, all meant, the universe hopefully, well it does know what I'm asking, I as usual have written down my questions so the universe knows far better than I what needs to be revealed here. So heart of the matter, uh, let me just uh, clarify this side of the reading is the Markles, this side of the reading is the Middletons and it's quite difficult to say Markles and Middletons in one sentence so bear with me and uh, Heart of the matter is the Ten of Swords, is the card of ruin and desolation, difficulty, and trying to recover from difficulty. And it tells me that both families at some stages have been through very rocky times, very tough times in this royal association and possibly their offspring who are involved in the royal family have been through very tough times as a result of this royal association so it's not a happy card to come out and particularly this year has been tremendously difficult I would say for both families but of course um, Catherine has been the, the, born the brunt of Meghan Markle's hatred and attacks in the press and a lot of, in my opinion, bullying and abuse that has gone on. And the Markle family themselves haven't exactly um, had a, a, an easy time of it either. So a lot of difficulty, a lot of distress, a lot of betrayal, a lot of ruined reputations. Uh, very, very difficult energy uh, to come out just as the centre of the reading. So on this side, a card to please from Universe define the Markle family to, rep to represent them. How are, can they best be represented in the tarot? Well, let's see in the tarot of curious creatures. Wow, six of cups and that's really a lovely card for a family. They were in the past. They were in the past because the six of cups is all about the past. A very, very happy and very close and caring and loving family. Take note, Megan. 
whatever you say about your father now and your half sister and half brother you claim not to know they know you they know you they remember you they have mementos of you photos videos things so not the shock horror not the ten of swords that you might expect to come out close family emotional bonds there that you can't just make up that are those emotional bonds on the six of cups are built over a long time and it takes a lot to unravel them she's doing her best the middletons they have to outdo that card somehow well there's the page of pentacles <laughs> and i have to laugh because it does have a bit of a social climber air to it the page of pentacles the page of pentacles is on a path on a on a trajectory upwards the page of pentacles is going to be diligent and responsible and uh and learn learn things learn manners learn to play the game learn all the things that the page of pentacles needs to get where she needs to get and it's it's quite amusing because the little outfit that she's wearing is rather uh, it rather reminds me of Catherine and Pippa in their more Sloan Ranger days um, when they wore their little mini skirts and their tights and their boots and they were seen out and about. Um, so that is going back there. Ambitious, ambitious, nothing wrong with that. It's an upright card. It's an honourable card, the Page of Pentacles. I am being a little bit, um, uh, not mocking, but a little bit unkind about it. But it's there. It's there, the ambition, the desire to improve themselves and to get ahead in life. Nothing, as I say, wrong with that at all. So two, I think, very, um, uh, very appropriate cards for the families. Let's see now the public perception of each family. How does the public perceive? And when I say public, I think I mean the great British public. I haven't really specified that. So the universe will have to fill in the gaps for me. How does the public see the Markle family, Seven of Wands, in the reverse seven of wands is always about conflict and about being defeated when it's in the reverse and not being able to survive the attacks on your character and on yourself and uh, so they are embattled they are really quite vulnerable really quite defenseless um, slings and arrows of outrageous fortune um, being aimed at them constantly at the poor Markle family. The public sees that, the public's very aware that they be, are constantly being attacked by a member of their own family. I don't think this is about the press being so awful to them. Their own member of family in the, is the, the person who's trying to do the character assassinations here. And they're struggling to survive this. They're struggling to fight back, to push back. They don't have the resources. They don't have the strengths. Um, they don't have what they need in themselves to be able to deal with this very successfully. So I feel quite sorry for them and clearly the public feels quite sorry for them too. They see them as quite vulnerable, the Markle family, and really defenseless uh, against all these attacks and all the ugly things that are going on. How does the public feel about the Middletons? How does the public perceive them? Not necessarily feel about them. How do they see them? And we get the Hermit in reverse. Well, that's an um, interesting card. Major Arcana. Uh, not, not shy about coming forward, the Middletons. Um, if it was the Hermit upright, it would be uh, taking a back seat, retreating, getting out of the limelight, really not wanting to be in the spotlight. But the public sees the Middletons as being quite um, um, in, enjoying being in the limelight, uh, coming forward when they need to. Uh, certainly carriage rides, we've seen them at uh, famous uh, racing get-togethers, uh, Carol Resplendent in her hat, Wimbledon, there they are, uh, enjoying it. Uh, they're enjoying the limelight. They're, they don't seek it out unnecessarily, but when the time comes to shine, they do. And uh, so that's what I'm getting from the Hermit in Reverse, that they really do quite enjoy them, the opportunities that they get to uh, be wheeled out and be resplendent and they behave impeccably as I say with this uh, most recent appearance of theirs and uh, don't disgrace anybody uh, but they do definitely enjoy it and not not wallflowers not shy retreating types retiring types 
And uh, so, how do the royals see each family now? Uh, royals, how do they see the Markle family? And we get the Six of Wands, again a card of defeat, failure. Uh, it's really quite sad when you see that card in reverse. It's a dear sweet little card in the upright. Uh, and it's a rather Meghan Markle, um, those, uh, those legs, those rather skinny legs, the calves and the shoes, the over large shoes. I haven't been rude about her, her feet for ages. Um, but there she is. And uh, in the reverse, there's, there's been a real loss for this family. We've got it twice now. The public sees it as them being very vulnerable, very open to attack. And the royal family sees them as just really being failures. And I can't put that kindly. Um, I, I, I don't get a nasty vibe from it. I don't get them sneering at them behind their backs, laughing up their sleeves at them. More just really, I wish we could help these people, but they are sowing the seeds of their own destruction. They are failures. They are failures and uh, that's a very unfortunate energy and I really don't want to dwell on it because it's making me feel very uncomfortable that card. So I think we, we know all we need to know about it. How do the royal family see the Middletons? Ten of Cups, wow! <laughs> and that's a very interesting. I just adore the tarot when it's so, uh, it speaks in, in such a clear way. Because first of all, it's the perfect family. It's the absolutely perfect family, the Ten of Cups. Happy families, as I say, wheeled, wheeled out at every opportunity, always dressed appropriately, always on their best behavior, always doing the right thing. It's a little bit much, the Ten of Cups. It's never quite believable. So whatever is going on behind the scenes with the Middletons, and I have over the years read things, heard things that all might not be as cozy in that family as one might think, but it doesn't matter because what the public sees is this perfect family, the absolutely perfect family. And doesn't it rather remind you of party pieces, the company that the Middletons set up and have done so well, the mail order company, they've done so well out of. And a very, very, very interesting card for me. It's just this reading is just saying so much about each family. And I think uh, absolutely true and revealing things about each family. Although I have to say, this is just a tarot reading and it is just for entertainment purposes and all allegedly. So outcome cards for each family. Outcome of their association with the royal family. What will be the consequences for each family of being involved in the royal family? And uh, it's, it's going to be very uh, painful for the Markles. Very painful. Queen of Swords in reverse. Uh, they have been cut out and the Queen of Swords in reverse is the cutting cruel card very uh, cold energy, vicious, ruthless, cutting out. She has this girl, this member of the family who has caused them so much pain and distress, who was so cherished and so loved when she was a little girl, brutally cut them out. And again, I don't need to say more about this card because it's actually making me feel very, very sad, very, very distressed. Uh, but they have been ghosted. They have been uh, scent, scent packing, not worthy, don't want you around, off you go and uh, set my lawyers on you and uh, you are embarrassing and of course allegedly in my opinion that is the thought process behind this ruthless cutting out. The Middletons, how's it going to go for them? And uh, very interesting as well for them, not easy, this is not an easy road that they uh, have chosen for themselves and I think they did very much chose it with the nine of wands in reverse. The nine of wands in reverse is having to drop your guard, drop your barriers, open up and so much as they don't want to open up necessarily uh, it puts it at a slightly different spin on the hermit in reverse. I, I, I feel more charitable about the hermit in reverse now that 
uh, they might like to be private but they cannot be private here again want to be private really would like to just live their lives like the rest of us can live our lives uh, under the radar but they can't with the nine of wands in reverse they have to uh, open up they have to give interviews every now and then they pop up say something they have to show up at events and uh, there might be a lot of groaning and moaning behind the scenes and rolling of eyes and do we really have to go and stand there in our uh, very fancy garb and be seen and photographed and not fidget and not um, disgrace ourselves uh, they feel it they feel it and it's ongoing and it's exhausting because the nine of wands in reverse you actually really want to give up you don't want to do this and so i think for them this is a long hard road and one they really wouldn't have chosen if they'd known uh, now if they'd known then what they know now about how difficult it's 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 been and again the sense of being vulnerable so on both sides both families are coming up as vulnerable and uh, the Middletons actually really ultimately are the ones that have got the really hard journey ahead of them that they're going to have to survive and at some stage some of them are just going to say I really don't want this I don't like it I just want to be out of the limelight I want to disappear I wish that nobody knew that I was associated with the uh, Queen Consort and uh, I wish I could just be a private citizen but not possible it's really not possible so quite a revealing reading these lovely cards I just adore them and I hope you love them too and uh, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next reading